Hi guys, it's Miranda, the M from AJM Beauty. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to show you an easy video on how to make you look nice and fresh after you had a nice night of partying, or maybe you're just really tired and you want to look fresh faced. I'm about to go grab brunch with my family. I'm going to look like I'm nice and awake and that I don't look like death. So if you're really interested in getting this look, keep watching. Ugh, good morning. I had too much fun last night and I was like, you know what? I need to stop at 10 because I have plans of mom and Meemaw at 9 a.m. What do I do? I go to sleep at four and I wake up and I have the most pounding headache from drinking too much, but we've all been there. So what I'm gonna do today is a little different. I'm gonna do a hungover slash tired AF video. And we realize we only have 20 minutes to get ready but we still want to look nice. So let's dive in. First things first, hydrate. I need water. Michael, water. We only do Fiji in this house. Just saying. Now it's time to make up. So first things first, you want to make sure your skin is nice and hydrated. So, I put my moisturizer on first, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows and my eyes real fast so we can do this. So, like I said, keep this in mind. This is a video. It's not going to be full glam. It's not going to be, ooh, where's she going? Who is she? It's, oh, okay, she, she's making it through her day. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm going to fill it in. This is in the shade 3.5. I'm literally lightly just putting those hair in there. Now, like I said, if you are underage, do not take this as me saying you should go drink. Good, now y'all are nice and in here. Y'all can see everything. We're getting here nice and tight. Boom, Miranda, calm down. You got yourself a headache, you calm down. Like I said, hydrate. I also find that Pedialyte does wonders on the days that you really can't make it through. I like to say it's also when you're just really tired and you want to sleep in that extra 30 minutes when you know you have work. So you want to look presentable. You don't want to look like a complete hag, but you don't really feel like going and doing a cut crease and putting that glitter on there. Now don't get me wrong. She's a cut crease queen. Say that five times fast. Like I am just trying to get the shape of them, but I'm not going to even carve them out, which is crazy for me because I always I love carving out my brows, but I am literally just gonna fill them in and I'm gonna brush them out. Let All right, so now we're gonna do is put some concealer on your eyelids because you have bloodshot eyes and they're swollen. So we wanna make them look a little bit more delicate with some beautiful eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with the KKW concealer. That way it can kind of brighten up everything. Get some color back in here. So I'm just gonna put it right here like this. Then I'm just gonna grab a brush. It's like a brush like this will do. I'm just gonna kind of fill it in. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a simple palette. This one's the Dream Street Kathleen Lights X Color Pop. Amazing, beautiful, cheap, affordable, and great quality. And guess what? It's got your neutral colors because we gotta make your eyes look like you're alive. I can't be doing no smoky eye right now. I gotta look like I'm not dying. So I'm gonna go in with a large fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with one of these Morphe brushes right here. I'm gonna start out with a nude color like this, put it all over my eyelid. So I'm gonna go in with this really pretty peachy shade. Now, a lot of color pop stuff kinda is a little dusty, so make sure you dust it off. I'm just gonna take this right here. I like to do like a light color like this, that way it can kind of freshen up the eyes. Another tip that I learned from Jacqueline Hill, one of her older videos, if you're really tired or you've been crying all night, you need to put two spoons in your freezer when you wake up for about 10 minutes, take them out and put them on your eyes and it'll bring down any swelling. That way mom and grandma don't know what you've been up to. So I'm just blending this out and like I said, I am not being precise at all. Like I'm just trying to make this look nice and smooth, just kind of. And do y'all like my blending faces? Aren't they cute? So now that you have that first color down, you can go in. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna keep it, like I said, really simple today. I'm gonna go in 
with this color right here. It's very really pretty. What is this shade called? It's called Twinkle. I really like this. And this is going to be start where right your eyes start to look a little bit more open. And brush like this. I'm going to use this last color right here. It's kind of like a reddish orange. It's really pretty and it's called Water Bear. I'm just going to put it in. What we're going to do is close to the crease and I'm going to drag it on my lid right here. I'm going to go over about one more time with a large brush just to make sure everything is just blended out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, you don't want to look sloppy. Even though you were a sloppy mess last night, it's okay. And then I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's from Tarte, it's called Top Dot. It's a compressed pigment and I love it. And I love this because it just makes, just gives you a little pop of something. That makes you look so much more awake and it makes the eyes look a lot more open. Now we're just gonna throw on a little bit of eyeliner and lashes and we'll be right back. Now you're probably like, Miranda, why did you go and put lashes on? Because you said you were hungover. Well, look, if my, I'm not wearing lashes, my mom's gonna know something's up. And luckily, these are already pre-cut and ready to go. So all I had to do was throw on some glue and throw them on real fast. However, if you feel like you don't have time for lashes or if you just don't wanna wear them, that is perfectly fine. So what I do now is I'm gonna put some primer on. I'm gonna use a hydrating primer because your skin is dried out because you drank too much last night, girl. So we're gonna do the Hangover RX by Too Faced. So this is not a full size bottle and I have a little tip. When it comes to primers, I never, well, if I've never tried it before, I will never buy the full size one. If they have like the sample size, the main size, I always buy that because primers might work good for your best friend who has the exact same skin as you supposedly, but might be horrible on you. And I love this one, it has a coconut scent. My skin feels hydrated after I use it. It's great. I'm gonna go in with the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner. This is a great primer. It's a great dupe for the Tarte Smoothless or Timeless Smoothless Primer. I'm gonna prime my hands like this. Do this because you got some texture, girl, when you woke up. I just left on your face all wrong and you look rough. Now I'm gonna go in with a really nice radiant foundation that's easy. I'm gonna need to stick foundation. It's fast. Now, is this my favorite foundation? No, but it's one of my favorites. This is a Makeup Revolution one, and it's so good. It makes my skin look so radiant. I'm gonna draw on some lines. So we're gonna go and blend this out. I'm going to use the Morphe 439. I'm gonna buff it all in. And just look how much better it looks. And what I love about this is it leaves some kind of sheen. So if you have dry skin, it makes you just look nice and radiant. So we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. And now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. And I don't really have time to blend it out normally. So I'm gonna use a brush. And I know a lot of people don't really use brushes for their concealer, but sometimes you just don't have time and I don't feel like getting up and wetting my beauty blender. So I'm gonna go back in with this KKW. So I'm gonna use this Morphe brush and I'm just gonna blend along my under eyes. I feel like it just gives you that lift that you need, that especially I need. Now, if you don't wanna use concealer, that's fine too. You might not need it. Your girl needs all of it. She needs all the work. I'm gonna use this Essence Bright Nut Powder because you really wanna make your eyes just look nice and bright. You wanna make them look nice and awake. There's a lot of kickback on it though, so letting you know. So I'm going to hit these dark lines right here. Make sure it's nice and set. I'm gonna hit my forehead with this. And boom. We've been using a lot of pretty cost of, you know, cost efficient items. It might slam me for this one, but I like it. It's the Chanel Soleil de Ten. Tati has a very similar dupe for it that I've been dying to try. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this on this Morphe sponge right here and just blend it right here. Just push it into my skin because I just want that little bit of warmth. And I love it because it's not as if like it's too much, but it feels like it's just actually just enough. Yes, I am using 
physician's formula on top of Chanel. Come for me. And I learned a trick when I actually went to the Jeffree Star Convention of Lipstick Nick. If you have lighter hair, like I recently dyed my hair so there's some ash in it, instead of you using a big bronzer brush by your roots, take a fan brush and lightly put it right here. And that gives you more of a precise blend. So it doesn't look so harsh. I mean, you can use this for brunette too. But I like this so you don't actually see that orange and that brown in your hairline because let's just be honest, that's not cute. And now I'm gonna go in with, let's see. I'm gonna go in with a blush palette. This is the Morphe 9N palette. I don't believe they have this anymore, but I know they have something very similar still sold to it. It's amazing, it's fall colors, it's beautiful, and it's neutral. So we're gonna hop into this. So I'm going to mix two colors. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here, this color right here. Just off the extra. I'm just gonna lightly do it. It's kinda give me a little flush. Good. I'm gonna go back in with that Dream Color palette. And like I said, we're gonna keep it real light. I'm going to probably mix these two colors right here, this lighter color, this orangish color, and just blend it right here. I feel like smoking out my eye just kind of adds that extra to it. I'm going to throw on some bottom mascara. I'm going to use this MAC one. It's the best. Let's splash the lines along. And now we're going to go dive into some highlight because, let's be honest, do any of us like the house for highlight anymore? I am actually going to do a little concoction. This is a new product that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about too much, but this is the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost. And it's in the shade Canary Bling. Now, I'm gonna warn you, this stuff is kind of glittery, so if you don't really like glitter, you might not care for this. But I think it's beautiful, and I'm just a fan of all things that glitter. So I'm just gonna blend it in. That's not it, I want more. I'm gonna actually use this Ofra shade right on top of it. Just so it gives me a little bit more of a pop. I'm gonna lightly do it, go above my eyebrows, take it on my nosey, my lip. And then we're gonna go in with a color like this to your top of your brow. Cause you wanna make your eyes look nice and lifted, nice and awake. I have the inner corner cause it's just so cute. You need to put some lipstick on, your lips are probably pretty pale. Now, my personal opinion, I really wouldn't recommend using a matte lip because your lips are probably really dry and dying right now. But, something like Jeffree Star's lippies, they're so good, they're not over drying. Or you could use a like a regular lipstick too, like those work just fine. But today we're gonna go in with Jeffree Star Thickest Thieves. I think this is a gorgeous color. This is my color that you're gonna see me wearing the most during the fall season. I just like it gives me that extra little mm. So I'm throwing some lip liner. So we're gonna go throw the shade on. And now I'm gonna use a hydrating setting spray. This is by Flower Beauty. Guys, this is so good. Look at this mist. Oh! Oh, I'm stop wasting it, but it's so good! It is so good and it's so cheap. I can get it at Walmart. Walmart. So I'm just gonna, mmm. Ugh, give it to me. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, this just makes you just instantly feel so much better. Okay, do you stop? We're gonna go in with this KKW Super Nude. It is super nude. And it just gives you that nice, pretty glossy thing so you look nice and hydrated. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Don't forget, stay hydrated. Don't drink responsibly. Don't be a fool. Don't get in trouble. But if you're gonna have fun, have fun with friends and make sure you're of age. But like I said, this is a great tutorial, not only if you were drinking heavily, but if you are just tired and you really want a quick makeup look. I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Watch Jessica and Ashley's videos. They are outstanding. 
Don't forget to watch our vlogs. Catch us out on Instagram and Snapchat. We are underneath. Check us out. We're also on Twitter. Once again, I'm the M and AJ and Beauty. And thank you again for watching. Love you. And just to take it one step further, I just like a gloss. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this super new gloss on top. Oh, I just can see. We'll edit that out. We can do it for bloopers. <laughs> concealer <laughs> on our lips <laughs> whatever like no one is this the 2000s again <laughs> it's because it's because she can't see without her glasses <laughs> <laughs> so keep watching if you want to ah do it one more time yeah hey guys it's the Mar it, <laughs> it's the miranda show it's the miranda show hey guys it's miranda the m and ajm beauty Thanks for catching it.